I'm Victor Campos, and we are continuing with our HTML5 jQuery project. So um, on the left, I've got my code, which we got from the Wikipedia article. And on the right, I have the project active in a web browser. We see that jQuery Mobile gives us a, a quick uh, way to create a mobile interface with uh, animations and such. Well, let's look at the code in depth and see what we've got. We've got the familiar doc type, which we've seen before. So this is HTML5. We've got, of course, HTML code down to slash HTML. We've got a head and a body. Pretty normal. Let's look at the head a bit more. We've got a page title, which we can change. I'll call this uh, week two example. Then we've got a meta tag here meta name viewport. The viewport is basically the web browser, the visible part in the web browser. And we're saying that its content is initial scale one, user scalable no, and device width, uh, that is width equals device width. So basically our project is going to take up the full size of the web browser. So imagine you're looking at this on a mobile device. It'll take up the full screen of the web browser basically on your mobile device. User scalable no and initial scale means that we will not be able to pinch and zoom out. One of the things that breaks the uh, illusion of running a native app versus a mobile app is the ability to pinch and zoom. You can't pinch and zoom on your regular apps, can you? It's just it fills the screen of your browser. On a, on a normal website, you can pinch in or zoom out, etc. But with that bit of code there, initial scale 1 and user scale will know, we've disabled that ability. The design of the project is based on this style sheet, which is actually something that is up on the jQuery.com server. We didn't download that code. It's up on the server, and this is known as a, as a CDN content distribution network basically means that our content is up on the network instead of being on our hard drive. So the cool thing about this is that as this code changes online it updates on our project. Next we've got body and then another big change that we see here is uh, we've got divs and divs are basically uh, empty containers. They've been around for a while in HTML and they're empty containers. They're invisible, but we can style them with CSS. We can give them properties, background colors, rounded borders, all of that stuff. But here's the big thing. We see div data role equals page. That is jQuery mobile specific code. That now gives meaning to the plain old div to say that this is a page of content. Uh, compare that with what follows div data role header so it says whatever this div is now it's going to behave like the header at the top of the screen then we've got div data role content that's the main content area anything inside of this div will appear in the main content area and finally div data role footer everything that's at the bottom of the screen will appear in the footer that makes sense doesn't it so we've got data roles, this brand new construct that uh, is, is um, specific to jQuery mobile. And it gives divs a meaning. So if we see on line 10, we've got a data role of page. There's our first page. Line 25, we've got another data role of page. How can we tell the pages apart? Well, we've got ID first on line 10 for the first page and ID equals second for the second page, line 25. Uh, the style of the web pages were different. Do you remember that? Uh, one looked a certain color, one was a second color. That's because we've got data theme A and data theme B. That's how we get different uh, designs. They both have a data roll of header page 1 and page 2. Page 1 says page 1 header, page 2 says page 2 header. Um, both have a data position of fixed, meaning stick them to the top of the screen and don't let them move, just like a, a regular app. And data roll footer has the same thing, data position fixed, stuck to the bottom of the screen, don't let it move. 
data role content could include anything, anything we learned on the previous uh, week, and new things that we will learn. We've got a simple hello world on page one, and then we've got, remember, a button that takes us to page two. That's made from a plain old link. Remember, a href equals. That's the link. Uh, that's a plain old link, and the text says, go to second page. But it looked like a button when we uh, saw it on the web browser. And that's because it's got data role button. It turns a plain old link into a button because we've got a connection to jQuery mobile code. Data inline true. I'll get to that detail, what it does a little later. But try changing it to false. See what happens. Then data transition flip. Those are our animations. We have a bunch we can choose from. We'll get to those later. So that's an active link. That'll take us to page two, second page. So notice our href equals pound, the little number symbol, the hash sign, uh, pound second. And on our line 25, we've got data roll of page ID equals second. There's our second page. We link to it by saying pound second. Be careful that we don't write the pound symbol in the ID. We only use the pound symbol when we reference it in the href. So it flips because of the transition to page 2. There's page 2. And if you recall, page 2 has a back button that takes us back. And that has that is active via the data add back button equals true on line 25. So that's how you go back and forth between the pages. Finally, at the end of the document, we've got a uh, script, two scripts here, uh, two JavaScript commands or references. One is jQuery uh, dash 1.10.2.js, and the other is jQuery.mobile.min.js. So once again, these are up on the server. They're CDNs. They're not uh, uh, files that are on our hard drive. They're up on a server. So um, we just downloaded the code, copied and pasted. And um, our result then is this, um, this page here, this jQuery mobile page. There's our header. Here's our content area. There's our link, which has become a button with a data role of button. There's our footer with a data role of footer. And then I click the button. That animation was data dash transition flip. We're on page two. We've got our back button back to page one, automatically animated. So in our next video, we'll get more in depth. We'll make a few changes. Uh, but now you should be seeing that uh, YJ Career Mobile is a great framework to start off with. We have, instead of reinventing the wheel every time, we can start with a framework and then add to it.